Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about failure case of pushdown automata. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about pushdown automata and context-free grammar. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example and understand what's the failure case of pushdown automata. Let's take a language L is equal to A power N, B power N and C power N, where N greater than 0. What's the strings that are present in this language? L is equal to A, B, C, A, A, B, B, C, C, A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C. These are the strings that are present in this language. So what's this language says? A's followed by equal number of B's followed by equal number of C's. This is the language given. Similar language we already discussed about pre in our previous classes. A power N, B power N. A is followed by equal number of Bs. So we can construct a pushdown automata for A power N and B power N. But we cannot construct a pushdown automata for A power N, B power N and C power N. Why we cannot construct that? Let's try to understand. If you take an input string A, A, B, B, C, C. Whenever you see A, push on to the stack. A, A. Whenever you see B, so the equivalent a one a should be pop from the stack so we pop one a from the stack whenever you see the second b we pop another a from the stack so what happens to the c how we count the equality of c it is not possible because we had only stack memory we can do counting only for equality we can check the equality for only two symbols we cannot do it for three symbols for understanding purpose we are saying it like two symbols and three symbols you got the essence of this right we cannot do it using the stack memory equality check cannot be constructed that's why this is the failure case so let's try to understand uh, we cannot construct a context free grammar also for this language if you if you cannot construct push down automata means uh, we cannot construct context free grammar also i will give a good intuition about why we cannot construct context free grammar also so let's try to elaborate this uh, similarly we cannot construct context free grammar s tends to a s b or epsilon this is the context free grammar for the language a power n and b power n so how it is getting executed uh, so these these discussions are made previously yes a s b expansion yes a s b what's happening here for every a, a the the production s is going to check for a b means the equal number of a a's followed by equal number of b's for every a if you are two a's two b's will be checked but this is not possible for three situations sir uh. So S tends to, we may think that we can write a context free grammar like this. S tends to A, S, B, S, C or Epsilon. But this is not possible. Why it is not possible? S tends to A, S, B, S, C. If you expand S again, it will start from A. Means after B, we are going to check A. Which is not correct in our situation. You, you try to write any, any different possibilities of C of G. You cannot construct CFG for the language L is equal to A power N, B power N, C power N. Uh, the point you have to understand, uh, we can do the equality check for only two symbols, not the three symbols. Uh, for not three symbols. This point will help you a lot in understanding our next class, uh, which we are going to discuss uh, about uh, pumping lemma for context-free grammar, context-free languages. Uh, so this point is very important to understand. Uh. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.